As I said in the last video, I finished my self-guided tour of the Castello de Saint Georges before the others did because one of my cousins has a mobility issue. So after I finished, I decided to kill time by wandering the narrow streets of the neighborhood in search of some liquid refreshment of the adult kind. As you can see in the video, by this time of the morning, the line to buy tickets to tour the castle had gotten quite ridiculous, reinforcing my personal conviction that it is always better to get started with these types of things as early in the day as possible. And this fact can never be more true than it is in the hilly streets of Lisbon. By the time I had finished with the tour, a duo of street musicians had set up shop under the shade somewhat near the front of the line to entertain the crowd and hopefully make some euros in the process. Being a musician myself, I always make it a point to make a donation to my fellow music makers from around the world. This fellow singing on his balcony had an interesting way of collecting tips, with a bucket suspended by a rope. Funny that I bumped into him on the street later, and we had a brief chat. My journey in search of a beer or cocktail of some sort was rather fun, with people watching, admiring the street art, and just enjoying the views of the neighborhoods in general. Once I found myself on an actual street used by motor vehicles, I came upon an establishment called Beer Burger at just the right time. As the young employees were setting up the bar under the shade across the street, and I became their first customer and ordered a mojito. She told me I didn't have to pay until later, but I told her that my family members had to catch up and I'd be back with them later. After I finished my refreshing cocktail, I backtracked to the castle and waited for the others to finish the tour, then led them back to Beer Burger. Those who drink alcohol enjoyed the pina coladas served in hollowed out pineapples. I guess the sign wasn't kidding that they were the best. We decided on looking into taking a tour in a tuk-tuk, those little open-aired tourist vehicles. We could see where they were stationed further down the street, so we took a walk in that direction, and that's where we met David, who you'll meet later. So you all are from 
Just yes. 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 Mostly California, one of them, she's from Washington. Washington. The so state. Let's start a little bit about story about Portugal. Rounded Portugal in the north, Guimarães. Yes. That was a con date that oh, the yeah. mother of the first king <coughs> earned <coughs> by a marriage <coughs> and earned it from Castilla La Mancha or Castilla Leon. Okay. Do you hear? Do you hear what I say? No, because people are talking back here. Ah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be quiet now. So, the condate was given by Castilla Leon to the mother of the king. Okay. Yeah. Then he wasn't still a king. When he got 11 or 12, with the interest of all around the people, yeah, they started to make his brain that he needed to have everything and not only a condition. And he woke up and said, ah, yeah, okay. Then he took the people and everything and had a fight or a war against his own mother. Oh and yeah, I know that his story. mother yeah. out of Portugal. Yeah, back to Normandy. But at that time, Castilla Leon, it was Normandy and not Spain. Right. Yeah. What happened? So, when he was 11 or 13, between 11 and 13, then he took the people, fought against his mother, and then he got after the Templars and the Kuzi, and then he started to come down here. He started to conquer all the continents from north until east, from Porto until down here. Yes, and he conquered everything. When he arrived here in Lisbon, or at that time was Alfama, where the Moors, right? So he had another fight for four years to conquer the town. So what he made? <coughs> he fought against them four years, he couldn't get against them. Then he started to call the English cruisers. And they didn't want to come in reality. Then, then he said, you're going to go to Palestine, fight in Palestine against the Moors, the Arabs. With the Templars. With the Templars, with everything. And Europe is going to be the Moors. There's nobody. When you're going to come back, you're going to be the weak. And there was going to be all Moors. And you're going to fight against yeah. the Moors then. And then they said, yeah, okay, right. And they fought with him here, and then he conquered the town. And the moment that he conquered the town, he took the mosque out, well, now the cathedral. He took the mosque out, built the first church, the mother of all churches, the holy set. We are going to come in the end there. Yeah. And from there on, it starts to be Christian. He took all the moors out of the castle, out of the hill, and stationed them behind the hill. That's today Moraria. Yeah. And then it starts to be Alfama and Moraria. Okay. And since then it was Portugal, all of it. When the cathedral was built to the end in 1147, the cathedral, then it was proclaimed Lisbon and whole Portugal. Because before when it was Portugal, it was only Guimarães, it wasn't all the Condes. So when he conquered everything and he conquered Lisbon, then he proclaimed all Portugal. Right? Yeah. And I learned that our neighborhood we're in, Graça. Graça. That was that was uh, first uh, settled by Arab migrants. Yes. Way, way, Every, way back. Uh, everything. Before this was all built, of yes, course. Yes, that's right. For example, uh, we've, we've got the, the flea market here, Fiera da Lado. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, lots of people say that it comes from the names that the flea market always had. Uh, it's the, uh, the market of the thief or the market of the dead or the market of the But in reality, in reality, in reality, in reality, in reality, in reality, I, then, then, yeah, now we put me out of the thinking. I lost my way. What yeah, I, was saying? I got that problem. Let's go a little bit more, then I want to break up again. O cara me tirou do sério. Se ele quer correr, que corra. Eu quero fazer meu passeio aqui. Três horas fazer passeio voar. Não, você anda mais rápido. Eu te amo. Every little face is gonna be 
The oldest shop and the first shop that made it, Pastels of Berlin. Hi, what's your name? Tell my viewers a little about yourself. Hi, my name is David, David Smith or David Schmidt. Uh, I'm a Brazilian Jew of Germany, <laughs> living now here in Portugal, doing my best to have these people enjoyed and working as a tourist guide in a nice company like Tuk Tuk Lisboa, but always look for David underline Tuka in the Insta, then you're going to find me. Okay, cheers. Obrigado. Sorry, Mo, I was thinking till when? I don't have brakes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that took care of that. Do you see me using brakes? No brakes. Because oh, it's electric. It's electric. Oh, I've got a brake for emergency. I don't use it. I use it on in the last, in the last, in the last occasion. Why? Because if you're gonna pull it, you're going off. Oh. Oh, you and he's gonna cut the motor. I can't give no more gas. I got, and then I give gas again. So if I hit the hit the brake. I cut the gas and I lose the control of the car. So I prefer to brake only with the motor and in the last moment or in the moment that I need a brake, then I brake. I don't only have brakes. I've got the motor, I've got the brake and I have the handbrake also. But this one I just use in hills when I go out. So, thank you. Now we are going to pass through everything as a sight without getting out of the car, taking pictures. The, the statue over there. Then you saw that he had a boat and two crows on it, right? I don't remember a boat, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see. It, I'll see it when I get the uh, when I look at the footage. Back. Oh no, yeah, we're not gonna get back. Or you're gonna stay somewhere else. I'm gonna see you now a little bit about St. Vincent. Okay. St. Vincent from outside. That's the name. Yes. Daughter of the king. Yeah, and there was a princess.
this was the wall, or this was, or is the wall of this one, yeah? Uh -huh. Part of it. Okay. Do you see the arc? Yeah. Do you see the two levels on it? What, so what the hell did these two levels on the arc? Um, on the left, before the earthquake, there was a convent. Oh. On Mass, on Sundays, yeah. When the priest goes out of the church and the nuns come in, they are not allowed to have eye contact. Oh. Yeah. So, every time that they went to the convent, they did something special. Just a moment. I can't listen and I can't listen. So, it should be a church. Yeah. And there was a story about the Simon. Simon in Portugal are the Jews that convert they, were, they will be called Simão or New Christians. Oh, they have some kind of influence. But you need to see that in the 1500s, Portugal was where? Uh, that was just after they got they the Muslims out. They were in Macau. Out. They were in China. Oh, yeah, yeah, bigger empire. So in Macau, they were in China. In yeah, China, Africa. They learned the word Macau. Hmm. Who made the title before that? The title of the title of China. Thank 
Rocket, Barrow, Roman. Passing that today or no? Classic or Elizabeth Lovett. 
the commercial square is just down here. Okay. I'm not going to pass there, but when you're going to come there, China, and who took it from the foot of the weather? Yeah. And they took the name T over and used it. So the first tea that came to Europe went by the yeah, because of their, their colonies in the east. In the moment, we're going to have a spot where you're going to buy your drink, the supermarket. Okay. Have Right then, my camera was out of power. Although my GoPro Volta charging grip holds enough power to charge the battery in the camera three times, it was a long day of recording. Even though I did miss recording some attractions on this three and a half hour tour, we did visit some of them in the coming days, so stay tuned for that. If you stayed with me for this entire half hour video, you're a true champion. Don't forget to subscribe and set your notifications so you'd get an advance notice before the next video drops. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, and special thanks to David Schmitz, our driver, for his excellent tour. Until next time, Eddie on the go, out!